he might just show up and like under you. Yeah. He'll come and, from and we way over that. here and go, you know, straight up there. And, and the I don't thing really is, know how he does it. Like, he'd counter, like, in the middle of the stage, and somehow the, yeah. the he'd, he'd start appear to the left that. or to the right <laughs> and, and go straight up. up. Like, it was weird. <laughs> I got to ask him how that move works, man, because I can't compensate another Greninja I have match not without played. I have not played against him yet. But I promise you, I got hit by all those. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in I am, I am not looking forward to that as an all of our player. He's just going to counter Pikmin and <laughs> be Ooh, flying all over the entire look at stage. This match that we have right now. Oh boy, we got uh, we got Frozen and Mr. E. Mm -hmm. Frozen rocking the 3.02 tag. Shout out to old PM Mewtwo. Mm -hmm. uh, you're telling me that Palu kind of feels like that, but toned down a little bit, obviously. Okay. Um, he said that uh, to imagine 3.02 Mewtwo would be take Palutena and make Teleport have five frames of lag. Mm. So, <laughs> okay, and a lot of people don't know that in this game, uh, Palutena's upbeat has a lot of like startup where you can still hit Palutena. Yes, as even after, match four. even even after like the the sparkles initiate, you can still hit Palutena. until she's completely vanished. You can pretty much hit her. I don't know the exact frames, but that was how it worked in yeah. Smash Four, and it looks a lot like very similar yeah. here. It's a lot more than people think. So yeah. And you know this matchup, I don't, I don't think was particularly bad for Palutena in Smash Four. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. Uh, it, it was just one that of Palutena better. had bad like frame data. Well, on the ground, she had. So Palutena was half of an amazing character in uh -huh. Smash Four. I agree. Uh, I played Palu as a counter pick character. She was really good in specific matchups, and really struggled with a lot of top tiers. Uh -huh. uh, this was one of her better matchups against good characters. I think it was pretty even. Mm -hmm. But still, Palutena just really struggled with not having enough options. You know, her back yeah. air was amazing. Her forward air was good. Jab was good. Uh, great throw combos. She didn't have tilts. None of them were usable Her most of the time. Were really bad. She had, you know, some nice great reaction. aerials, some terrible, some terrible aerials. Down air was kind of useless, and her tilts were just awful. Mm -hmm. Now all of her moves are useful in some exactly. way. Even though four tilt's not amazing, it's it's okay. Exactly. It kills. Uh, Nair is frame five and incredibly strong. Combos into itself. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple uh, of got, times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> many many times. times. <laughs> it comboed into itself once in Smash Four. Now it's two or three, maybe four. Yeah, maybe five if you're diing in. Yeah. She does. I, I personally think she does still struggle with some of the same issues she had in Smash Four in neutral, uh -huh. which is that uh, her neutral is very reliant on back air mm. or, or or the threat of it, basically. And it doesn't mean you have to be back airing all the time. It means that that's the main thing they have to respect. So if yeah. it's a character who can easily whiff punish it, then you kind of struggle to throw out things that are safe all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, um, that is fixed by having a little bit by having auto reticle be good by having yeah. explosive flame be a move again. Like that both, was great. Both that was a great really catch good. right there. Mm -hmm. And that that is I think why Palutena is a very good character. But I think uh, her her drawbacks are the same ones as Smash Four. They're just significantly better. And her strengths got better too. Oh, he, yeah. nice, very good. And he held that one. He's very he dead. Up. Gonna do it. So Mister E up a full stock here. And the conditioning, like even in the last match against the Incineroar, we didn't see E throw that out at all. Yeah. He didn't throw this out all Also, I think that game. was, the, the clever thing behind that was he was punishing a rapid jab the wrong way. Uh -huh. So that gives you a lot of time. How the rapid jab takes a while, as most of them do. Uh, and he decided, you know, he could just like instantly walk to where forward smash would tip her uh -huh. and do that. But that's very fast. And it's not going to be as consistent as a shield breaker. Also, if he mistimes it with a forward smash, it gets shielded. Exactly. If he mistimes it with a shield breaker, the they shield get shield popped. broken. Yeah. And that's exactly really what happened. Good. He was playing on the fear because Palutena yeah. knew, listen, I could die to a lot of things that you can do. I'm rapid jabbing. Let me end this I'm really gonna hold shield. and shield. Yeah. So Mr. E playing a couple of steps ahead of Frozen there. That was really good spacing right there. Runs away, gets the back hit of the up tilt. And that uh, that up tilt by Palutena can uh, shield poke very well and kill you ve pretty early. Can't believe Palu's counter works now. That's great. Right? That was it was functional in Smash 4, mm -hmm. but it was like take Mars counter and just add 30 frames. Yeah. So literally 30 frames and slower. <laughs> with no knockback. Yes. And there you go. Let's knock that Nair. Good and Tipper Nair is going to take it pretty early right there. There's not much over 100 right there. That was a weird Tipper, too. It looked like he was kind of in the middle of the sword, but. Yeah. Whatever. Neutral air, especially when Mr. E uses it. Exactly. Neutral <laughs> air e does not follow air. typical logic. Uh -huh. He has made that move far better than, and it's a great move. Yeah. But for years, he has made that move far better than it is already. It's because of Mr. E's Nair that we noticed, like, whoa, this move actually kills? really kills? good, yeah. And, and especially with this? Lucina, because mm -hmm. I like, I would assume that, like, the Marth Tipper version will kill, the Marth non-Tipper version won't. Yeah. He used to kill people with Lucina Nair all the mm -hmm. time, and I was always so it's confused by that. It's pretty good. It's pretty strong, and it, I think it's a little stronger now. I don't know for sure, but it certainly feels that way. Mm -hmm. And you'll see a lot of uh, Marths and Lucinas cover, like, the platform. They'll cover landings because yeah. it'll hit you on the way down, and then yeah. if you get hit, you get hit again. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, so we're really going good. over to Kalos here. 
Look at that spacing. In that one little exchange, he could have fared, which would have been super unsafe. He up airs and it was tipper, and it made his move safe. Exactly. So good. Such little things that Mr. E does that makes Marth look so good. Mystery is so good at the specifics of this character. Yeah. He's been a character specialist all of Smash 4. He's uh, Marth main Lucina secondary, basically. Yeah. He just... tried to drop Marth in Smash 4 early. He played Sheik for a long really? time. Huh. Yeah. He played Sheik wow. when he was going to Smash Forever. And then he was like, nah, I got to go back to my boy, man. Yeah. And he, the only thing I ever saw from him was occasionally Cloud once in a while. But uh -huh. other than that, Marth Lucina all the way. And Cloud was mostly for doubles when he was still legal. That was, you know, I didn't even see him too much in singles. Mm -hmm. So... Really a, a great character specialist. Some really good placings at Nationals. Some big wins, he beat Zero. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's the one that made him and MK Leo later on in Smash 4 made us think that Marth wins the Diddy matchup. Which he doesn't. Myth. That is a myth. <laughs> Marth gets bopped by Smash 4 Diddy. Yeah. Uh, just want to make that clear. Yeah, uh, the up B right there, yeah, he's going to really take the stock. Reaction. Really good reaction by uh, Mr. E. And that's another part of his game that's really good. He has young man reactions. I'm not sure how old he is. Might be I like no 22 idea. or something. I'm, I'm guessing 23. Yeah, but, I have um, no clue. Still really good reaction time. Okay. Going to put him in disadvantage right now. But E not pressing any issues. Uh, you can see him still picking his spots and just trying to put some damage. I am not used to Marth down air being a good move. Yeah. It was, it was right? broken in melee. It was like good situationally in Brawl. And in Smash 4, it was pretty awful when anyone awful. other than Mr. E used it. Absolutely uh, awful. <laughs> Mr. E used it to hurt box shift out of things. And that uh -huh. was the best use I ever saw of mm -hmm. that move. And it was the only time I ever thought that the move might be marginally useful. Mm -hmm. uh, but in general, it was only for, you know, super intense edge guards where you're really going all in. Yeah. Uh, I had so much lag. Didn't auto cancel out of a short hop. Just barely auto canceled out of a full hop. Um, Unsafe on shield from long way away. Ooh, there we go. And that's what I want to see. I want to see Frozen yeah. kind of use the shield a little bit more. Kind of clip uh, Mr. E's uh, aerials. The shield that he swings at you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> kind of clip some of Mr. E's aerials with dash attack. He, he did it once in the beginning of the right. set, but uh, hasn't done it again. I Tip think I think the big thing there is that it goes back to what I was saying in the beginning of the set about how Palo's neutral is like, it's good because of dash attack and back air uh -huh. in, some, in a lot of ways. And then the fact that it's relying on those can hurt him in some ways. Yeah. And Mr. E is spacing really well outside the range of that to the point where uh, Frozen really has to call out an aerial. He yeah. can't really react to where Mr. E is. He's got to call something out and then land with a dash attack. Because if he just tries to dash attack whenever Mr. E jumps, Mr. E can easily fade away and whiff yes. punish or fade through and whiff true. punish if he's going all the way through him. Uh, back air's a little safer. Uh, you can drift more with it. But still, same issue. Especially against someone who's as good at with punishing as history. Yeah. I respect it. He's been hit by a lot of forward tilts yeah, in that exact true. situation. I mean, Mr. E's been doing a lot. And the thing is, Mr. E's pressing a lot of buttons now. He's kind of he's kind of going for it. He's pressing a lot of buttons, mm -hmm. but he's very rarely being super aggressive. Yes. Yeah. I would like I wouldn't call any of it like aggression. Definitely it's funny, safe. He, he presses impressive. a lot of the buttons, like a lot of buttons, in the way that Venya does. But in a completely different mindset. Like, Venya is looking to pressure you at all times. Mm -hmm. Venya He's looking impressive. to come in and, like, hit you hard, pressure your shield, pressure your lack of shield, etc. Mm -hmm. Mystery is looking to just control as much space as exactly. he can on the stage. Exactly. And as soon as you come into that state, that space, you're in trouble. But even more than that, it's like he just gradually gains more and more area. That, Look at that. That just zoomed oh in on the move gosh. not hitting exactly. him. Exactly. Just want to point that out. <laughs> Shout out to uh, our lab the second. Getting us the dancing numbers on stream. Always so appreciated. Good. And that's the thing with uh, with Mr. E's Mark. He doesn't. He almost doesn't put the hit boxes where you are. At least the tipper hit boxes. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> he doesn't. Gotta love that zoom in on the sword missing Palutena's head. He doesn't. That's put just those, how good uh, Mr. E's spacing is. The tipper. 